Hi, I'm Michelle Kellner, Principal of DeSoto Trail Elementary, lovingly known as DTES. Let me be the first one to welcome you to our school and your new Trailblazer family. We are so excited to have you at DeSoto Trail and we look forward to meeting you in the fall. First, I want to say to parents, this video is primarily for incoming kindergartners, but there is key information here that is useful for all new students to DeSoto Trail. Also, the beginning of the video is for students, so you might want to have your trailblazer next to you watching the video with you. But then, as we get into those slides with more information, they're free to go on and play and not watch the entire video. Here are some important people you need to know on our DeSoto Trail team. First, myself, Michelle Keltner, the principal. I'm always here for you if you have any questions. Next, our wonderful assistant principal, Dr. Cassandra Poole, is here to also assist you. Our registrar, Jamie Yergin, who you'll need to contact for any registration questions or concerns and to ensure the necessary paperwork is submitted to complete the enrollment process for your student. Our bookkeeper, Stacy Rivette, our front office secretary, Melissa Bruner, and Jerisha Carter-Johnson, our extended day program director. She will be who you'll want to contact for before and after school care, which is for pay, but more information about that later. And finally, our guidance counselor, Angie Gruber. She will be who you'll want to contact if you have any questions about ESE, 504s, ESOL, if you know any of those acronyms. She will be your key person to know. And remember, we're always available in the front office at 488-4511 if you have any questions, or you can visit our website for all of our email addresses. Here are our current kindergarten team. It's important that you enroll your students as soon as possible because this team could change based on the number of units that I am allocated on our staffing plan, which is based on student enrollment. So if you have any friends that are bringing kindergartners to DeSoto Trail also, please make sure they enroll as soon as possible too. We want to make sure our kindergarten team is staffed appropriately for the fall. Hi, I'm Mrs. Stahl and I'm going to talk you through a virtual tour of our school. This is Avery. She will be your tour guide today. Avery is walking up from the car pickup and drop off area to the front office. And here are some of our front office staff that are available to help you. Connected to the office is the clinic. Now follow along with Avery to the volunteer hallway. It's connected to the front office and we have beautiful artwork on display. The volunteer hallway hosts fun student events like our holiday shop and also events for our parents and teachers. Avery is heading to the media center. In our library, you will be able to check out all kinds of books. We also have a news studio here and this is where we have our book fair and teacher meetings. Now follow along as Avery walks all the way down to the kindergarten classrooms. The kindergarten classroom is where you will spend most of your day. Inside the classroom, you'll find all different kinds of things. You'll find a whole group rug area, colorful tables where you can sit with your table friends. We'll have fun, exciting days like this drive-in theater on our 50s day on Halloween and have fun learning centers. Now Avery is heading outside for developmental play, or we like to call it recess. Avery's showing you some of the fun equipment that you'll get to play on with your friends. And remember, teachers are friends too. Now Avery is walking down to the lunchroom or the cafeteria. Can you guess what we do in there? That's right, we eat lunch. We also have special people come for lunch sometimes, like veterans or grandparents. We have presentations. We have special guests. We also have musical performances. Even kindergartners get to have their very own performance. Now Avery is heading to special area. One place we go for special area is PE. That stands for physical education. 
We get to have fun using our bodies and doing all kinds of exercise. We can meet under the covered area for PE, but that's not all. We also get to have PE out on the basketball court and the softball field and in the soccer field. There are other special area rooms too. Avery is heading to the music room and the art room. First, in music, you'll get to learn all about different songs, music, and instruments. You'll have a lot of fun singing new songs with your friends. In art, you'll get to draw, paint, and create masterpieces using all sorts of different materials. You might even get your artwork put on display. Thank you so much for joining us for our virtual tour. We can't wait to have you at DeSoto Trail and get to meet our newest trailblazer. Hi, I am Mrs. James and I am one of the kindergarten teachers. To ensure that your child has a successful start in kindergarten, please use this time to develop independence in these areas. This will prepare your child to participate productively in a kindergarten classroom. Your child will be one of 18 to 20 children in the classroom. Starting day one, we will work on sharing and taking turns. We will learn how to be a class family. Due to there being only one adult in the classroom, children need to be able to bathroom independently with minimal assistance and buttoning and zipping their clothing. We also ask that children learn to verbalize when they need help. Learning to express themselves is the first step in independence. Hi, I'm Mrs. Lambert. Welcome to Kindergarten at DeSoto Trail. In preparation for starting kindergarten, parents often inquire about academic skills. As kindergarten teachers, we have pinpointed a few essential academic skills to share with you. Starting with name recognition. Your child should be able to recognize his or her written name. When writing their name, an uppercase letter should only be used at the beginning of the name. Letter recognition and naming fluency is the beginning step in developing readers. Practice recognizing and naming letters when presented in a random order. Our goal as kindergarten teachers is to develop a love for reading and for books. This starts with reading together with your child and helping build connections between stories and life experiences. Having conversations with your child about things they are doing and thinking is an important part of developing oral and listening skills, which includes children being able to express ideas, needs, and life experiences. We hope that you have a great summer and enjoy this time with your child. Hi, this is Miss Dubose, part of the kindergarten team, with some extra tips on school supplies. The school supply list requests for an eight pack of crayons is necessary for the first nine weeks. We start with a small eight pack first, so that your child can learn to be responsible for their school supplies, keeping crayons in a box and learning to use crayons without breaking them. This is a very important part of learning to be responsible and taking care of school supplies independently. Regular sized crayons should be sent, not jumbo size. We will gradually move to larger count boxes as we move through the school year. The children will get a new box of crayons at the beginning of each nine weeks. Please send your child with a regular size backpack. Avoid sizes such as mini, small, or pre-K sizes. Your child will need to independently pack a binder, towel, change of clothes, and their lunch box easily in their backpack. Each student will also need a quality, comfortable pair of wired headphones. The headphones will not be shared and will be used throughout the entire year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gutta, one of the kindergarten teachers here at DeSoto Trail, and I have some general information to share with you today. 
For our lunch time, we want to be sure that students are bringing in their lunch box, that it is labeled with their teacher's name and their name on it. We also have a snack time. Be sure that the snack is also in a labeled bag and that if your child has a lunch box, please keep it separate from the lunch box. We don't want any students to get confused about what food is for their snack and what food is for their lunch. We also ask that you bring a bag that is labeled with your child's full extra outfit intact so that we have it for any kind of emergencies. For attendance, please refer to our getting ready for kindergarten packet. And if your child is sick and has any kind of fever or symptoms, we ask that they stay home until they are fever free without medication for the time specified by our current health code policy. Thank you. I'm Miss Owens and I'm a kindergarten teacher here at DeSoto Trail Elementary School. We are looking forward to having your child begin their kindergarten journey with us this August. Here are some important dates for you to remember. The first day of school is Wednesday, August 11th. Students may begin arriving to school anytime after 7.45 a.m. Supervision will be provided from 7.45 until 3.15 p.m. daily. The first bell rings at 8.25. All students must be in their classroom no later than 8.30. The students are dismissed at 2.50. We recommend that you give yourself some extra time the first week of school as you work through your family's new morning and afternoon routine. Please join our Lifter for the latest pickup and drop off policies and procedures for the 2021-2022 school year as information continues to change. The second date to mark on your calendar is Friday, August 6th at 12.30. This is the day and time that you will find out who your child's teacher will be and what classroom they will have been assigned to. Please be on the lookout for an email from your child's teacher before school begins or listserv for any changes to this schedule. We are looking forward to beginning a new year with you and your child. Hey, I'm Jamie Jurgen, the registrar here at DeSoto Trail Elementary. I'm here to talk to you about registration for your new kindergarten student. There are four easy steps. First, go to leonschools.net slash register. Second, register for a parent account. If you already have an account, skip to step three, and you will just add your child to your current account. Then, step four, email me the following documents. We will need a mortgage or current rental agreement, a utility bill, either City of Tallahassee or Talquin is fine, a copy of your child's birth certificate, a Florida immunization record, and a Florida school health exam form, which you can pick up from your child's doctor's office, plus all court custody documents pertaining to your child. We are here in the office Monday through Thursday from 8 to 4 p.m. Just give us a call, 850-488-4511 with any questions or email. My email is jurgenj at leonschools.net. We look forward to seeing you this fall. Thank you. Safety is always our number one priority here at DeSoto Trail, so it's going to be very important that anytime you wish to come on campus, you check in with the front office so you can sign in and get a visitor's badge to let us know where you're going on campus. That goes for any of your family and friends, too, that you wish to have access to the campus, so make sure they come in early and scan their driver's license because it will ease that process of having to sign in at the front office each time. Also, DeSoto Trail is happy to have a behavior specialist on campus and a security monitor, so know that your kids are in good hands and are going to be safe here at DeSoto Trail. If you have any medications, please make sure you bring those in their original container to our clinic and maintain an updated emergency contact list so we know how to get in touch with you should something happen to your trailblazer during the school day. And now for some important transportation information. Parents and legal guardians are the only ones that can sign students out during the school day. If you have a change and somebody else is picking them up after school, you must email the teacher and call the front office so that we know who to look for so we can check their ID when they come to pick up the student. They must have their driver's license or ID with them to sign your children out. Also, if you have any emergency transportation changes during the day, it's important that you call the front office by 2.20 p.m. so that we can get that information to your child's teacher so they can send them to the proper location for dismissal. Supervision on campus ends at 3.20 p.m. 
If your child is not picked up by that time, they will be brought to the front office and you can sign them out from there. If your trailblazer is going to be attending the EDEP program, remember that before and after school pickup and drop off is at the back of the school. Hi Trailblazers, my name is Teresha Carter-Johnson. I am the Extended Day Director and Summer Camp Program Director. Welcome kindergartners and kindergarten parents. Welcome to what we call Hey Club. So let me tell you a little bit about our Extended Day Program overall and then I'll go into some other details concerning K-Club. Before school service starts from 7 till 7.30 and it transitions into the General Assembly at 7.45. Breakfast is included every day, Monday through Friday. A cycle is 18 school days and per cycle the fee is $65. There is a drop-in option, but your child must be registered in the program. The drop-in option is $15. Then we have after school. After school starts at 2.55 until 6 p.m. The cycle rate is $175. Remember that's 18 school days. And there is a $20 drop-in fee. That $20 drop-in fee can only be used if your child is registered in our EDP program. K-Club and After School is a separated entity because they are still trying to get accustomed to campus and trying to get used to just being at school. So we keep them separated from our first through fifth grade students. Kindergarten has their own mansion here in After School. They do their own schedule. They have their own activities and supplies. They have star parties, they get star charts, and they have lots of tons of rewards. We have about two counselors per group. Then we have two additional support staff that are assigned to each group as well. Now, let me tell you a little bit about our summer camp program. Our summer camp starts June the 14th through the July 29th. The rate per week is 140 and breakfast is included Monday through Friday, and then three days out of the week, we will be providing lunch for your child. We very much recommend that if you can, parents, allow your kindergarten to attend summer camp for one to two weeks because it allows them to develop social skills, it allows them to make friends, and also at the same time get accustomed to our campus, and once they return back in the fall, they will be a very small, cute celebrity. So if you're able to, give us a call. We have spots available for kindergarten. If you need further information, visit our website, leonschools.net slash DTS EDEP to register. If you have further questions in detail, feel free to email me. Stay safe and stay troubled. Hi, my name is Kaylin Wells, and I'm a parent here at DeSoto Trail and part of the PTO. In fact, if you have a student here at DeSoto Trail, you're part of the PTO too. That's the unique thing about our school is that our PTO isn't some exclusive club or clique where you have to pay dues, but we welcome everyone's input, help, and guidance as we seek to make this an amazing environment for our students. There are lots of ways that you can get involved here at our school. If you really want to get involved on campus, we have a variety of needs ranging from tearing out pages from workbooks to listening to beginning readers read aloud to helping decorate the stage for our musical productions. If your schedule doesn't allow you to be on campus, we still have lots of opportunities available for you. You can send in fake goods or supplies for parties or events and you can also staple papers at home. So there are lots of ways that you can get involved. Be looking for our volunteer interest form that will go out the first week of school. You can check out or check off any of the items that you're interested in and receive more information on how you can get involved. A really important aspect about volunteering at our school is to make sure that you go online to the Leon County Schools volunteer application form. This is something that is required of everyone who will be helping on campus every single year and it's just another way that Leon County keeps our school campuses safe. 
You'll also want to make sure that you sign up for Listserv. This is a great way to stay in the know and receive information on events or changes or anything that's going on on campus. Other ways to gain information is to follow the school's Facebook page and also the website. And you'll want to make sure that you follow the PTO's Facebook page as well because we provide volunteer opportunities that come up and other pictures and videos of the various events that are happening. I've been at this school for seven years and the word that I hear used most frequently to describe our school is family. From the staff to the teachers to the parents to the students, our community is one that unites for the success of our school and so that our students may thrive. So welcome to the family. Wow, that was a lot of information, Trailblazers. So if you have any questions, please call our front office at 488-4511. Visit our website for email addresses so you can contact us here at the school. And also be sure to join our listserv. The link to sign up is on our website. This packet of kindergarten information will also be sent out on listserv during the summer. It will also be on our social media, so be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Go Trailblazers!